Okay, hello everyone, this is Colin Cox, and this is the final audio lecture for the semester. And it's not even necessarily an audio lecture, as you can see from the length, it's quite short. I wanted more than anything just to have a bit of audio either on D2L or YouTube for you to refer to if you need just some reminders of what's expected of you over the next two weeks, this final week of the semester and the exam week. And of course, we'll talk about all of this in class this week, but if you forget or if you cannot attend class this week, hopefully this audio will clarify any questions that you might have. But of course, if you have questions, if anything is unclear, please don't hesitate to contact me. So the first thing, your final essay, essay two, it is due at the end of this week. It is due on Friday. Please keep that in mind. Unlike previous essays or assignments, I need to get started as soon as possible so you won't have until Sunday. With that said, you still have a late paper policy. I still have a late paper policy. It's on the syllabus. You can use that policy if you need to or take advantage of it, but I just want to emphasize the importance of submitting your work on time because we are at the end of the semester. Grades are due almost immediately after the final exam week and you just don't have nearly as much time. So please don't take advantage of the late paper policy if you can, but it's something you if it's something you must absolutely do, then do it. Maybe contact me so I know. But I just wanted to address that question in case anyone has it. Now, regarding the final exam, and again, we'll talk about this briefly in class, but I'll release the prompt on Sunday and you'll have the entire final exam week to do it. You will do this online. I know there might be a time scheduled for us to meet, but I'll talk about this in class. I want you to do this online. I'll be on campus during the final exam week, so if you're on campus, you can always stop by my office and ask a question if you need to, but don't think you need to meet anywhere at a particular time. So do the exam whenever you can, submit it early as soon as possible. Again, what I said about essay two, I would argue it applies for the final exam there really isn't an opportunity for you to submit it late. If there is, it's not a lot of time. This exam should not be too terribly difficult, but if you have any questions, you may contact me. But again, just manage your time properly. Just use use this, this rather generous amount of time I have afforded you to the best of your ability. And again, I've said it a couple of times, but I think it's important to reiterate it. If you have questions, if anything is unclear, please contact me as soon as you have those questions. So, okay, I think that's all I wanted to say. I did also just want to thank all of you. Uh, out of all of the times that I've taught early American literature, this has been one of the best classes, one of the best sections that I've, I've taught. It is certainly not rare or uncommon for my students to say things and write things that I find interesting that I've never considered, but I can't think of a class where that's happened with nearly as much frequency as it happened with this class. So I just wanted to thank all of you. I feel like I learned so much from just interacting with you, the conversations we had in class, the essays you wrote, so on and so forth. So thank you all and have a nice break. Please take an opportunity to rest and relax. And if there's anything I can do in the future, if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to contact me. Email me the email address, it's on the syllabus. So I think for now, um, have a nice day, have a nice break, and I hope to talk to you again in the future.